Meanwhile, President of the Institute for Security, Disaster and Emergency Studies, Dr. Ishmael Norman, has described the decision of Freddie Blay to defend alleged accomplices of Aisha Wan as a ploy to cover up relevant information key to addressing illegal mining in the country. Freddie Blay's decision to defend three Chinese nationals and a Vietnamese who were standing trial for illegal mining and undertaking a mining operation without a license has come with all obvious backlash. In furtherance, Ishmael Norman, who is the president for Institutes for Security, Disaster and Emergency Studies, has noted Freddie Blay's decision as parallel to government's commitment to fighting the menace. When you tell your client that I don't want you to talk to the media, they wouldn't talk to the media. And so if there is some kind of revelation that may be damaging to MPP by circling all the accused persons with MPP lawyers, you basically build a firewall around them. And therefore, no opposition lawyer, for example, will get opportunity to go close to them to get some kind of information which, during the normal stream of law practice, that kind of information can leak into the public domain. The MPP is still Regional Communications Director, Ivan Zosayabwa, however says the involvement of the Attorney General in the case proves the President's commitment to ending illegal small-scale mining. Ivan Zosayabwa dissociated the new patriotic party from Freddie Blay's decision. I want to put on record this afternoon that the party disassociates itself from the decision of our former chairman. But secondly, Government has shown a lot of commitment. The Nanado led government has shown a lot of commitment in fighting Galamsey and will stop at nothing to ensure a successful fight. What we need now is to call on all meaning Ghanaians to come on board for us to be able to fight this menace. And this explains the decision by government to, to as it were, deploy the Attorney General himself to conduct the case or handle the case. So, government commitment in fighting this menace is known in public. But the decision by our former chairman to defend Aisha Juan is a so personal decision.